celebration, bitches. Yo, what's up, guys? I'll turn this down. I'll turn this music down. I hate it, so it's a celebration, baby. What's up, guys? It's Delete Shot here, aka Sean. We officially just hit 300,000 subscribers. Guys, how incredible is that? It's so amazing, I can't even believe it still. We're almost a third way to a million subscribers, which I find completely just mind blowing because my goal for Call of Duty Ghosts was to reach 100,000, which seemed like a huge goal and it is a huge goal and I'm so happy I got it. But it's incredible to think how we hit 300,000. We tripled my original speculation and I could not be any more happy. So for today's video, I want to show you guys and explain a few things and the few special ideas I had planned. Number one being, I'm going to show you guys what's in this little box that I showed you guys in my previous Destiny video. If you didn't see it, I'll show you now. Alright, so here is the little box I'm talking about. Let me just move my phone away from my speakers because it makes this weird static noise when they're too close, but guys, there's something in this box. What does that say? That says Control Freaks. I plan to give away some Control Freaks. Let me turn this around. Alright, as you guys know, whenever I game, I'm always using my Control Freaks. As you can see right here, I got Control Freaks on my normal Xbox One controller. I got some Control Freaks on my Xbox 360, but not on my Elite because this is the scuff controller and I have the scuff sticks on there. But every time I game, no matter what the game is, I'm always using control freaks. What they do in a nutshell, they extend the length, giving you, what's the what's the word they use? Uh, a larger range of motion, meaning you could be more accurate. It sounds crazy and sounds like nonsense, but once you use them and get used to them, you literally cannot play without them, and they honestly make me a more accurate player and a better player overall. So, what I decided to do was to give some control freaks to you guys. All right, so let me first show you guys what they're all about. I don't want to be getting my fingerprints all over them because I don't like this. I'm going to dump them out here. All right, we'll turn this around. Check this out, folks. Let me just spread these bad boys out. We got we got uh, control freaks both for the Xbox One and for the PS4, so it's fair. We have FPS Freak Elite. Got a massive glare right there. We have some FPS Freak Vortex, of course, for the Xbox One and the PS4 and the brand new Control Freak Alpha. Check these out. Right here, we have a total of six different Control Freaks, and I plan to give these all away. Currently, right now, my setup, I use a Control Freak Elite on my right stick and a Control Freak Alpha on my left stick, and that's my favorite combo right now. Before that, I used to use the Vortex. With the Vortex, it comes with one smaller left concave stick and one taller right convex stick and it's a very very good setup so if you guys want to win a pair of these there's going to be two links in the description now this is going to be my first time explaining this and let's hope i get it right so i'm going to be using this one new website called giveawayeasy.com and on this website it makes giveaways easier to set up it also makes it more fair so anyone that enters has a fair and equal chance of winning a set of control freaks so in the description there's going to be two links one link taking you to the page for the xbox one and another link taking you to the page for PS4 so click on the link for whichever console you have and follow the instructions on which it says on that page there's a few different things you can do you can sign one with your email you can sign you can um, send a text message you can tweet it out post it on Facebook and every time you do one of those things it increases your chance of winning a set of control freaks so that's all you guys gotta do if you want to win one of these Go to the link in the description and click the one to the console you have, either Xbox One or PS4. And I'll give another little overview, showing each one here. These are all um, very, very nice control freaks. These are my personal favorites and the ones I use on a daily basis. Um, I guess I can apologize, apologize to my Xbox 360 and PS3 users because I don't have any control freaks to give away for them. But to all my Xbox One and PS4 users, good luck and I really hope everyone enters and has a chance to win. Alright, so that's part 
I guess, part one of this video. Another part I want to show off is my gaming setup. But right before we show my gaming setup, I'm going to uh, explain something else here. So yesterday, I went to the post office and I opened a thing called a post office box, a P.O. box, because ever since I showed you guys my vlog on eating the candy from Mexico that a fan sent, a lot of you guys were asking what my address was so you can send me more stuff. I really don't feel comfortable giving my address out to a bunch of people, so instead I opened a P.O. box which allows you guys to send me stuff without having to give out my address. So right here, we have these two little golden keys. One little golden key. The other one's falling down. Check them out. They're not actually gold. They're just some normal keys here. And yeah, all right, so the P.O. box. If you guys wanna send me anything, it's gonna be, I'll provide the information in the description. It says right here, you gotta send it to Elite Shot, P.O. Box 172, Lakeview, New York, 14085. So you guys can send me whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Obviously, make sure it's something appropriate, nothing too crazy. I get like a baby in my P.O. Box. What the hell is this? I got a baby? No, I'm just kidding. But you guys can send letters, notes, anything you want, fan art. And I plan to record myself opening it in a video. And I also plan to do something else that's kind of special. If you guys want to get free... Elite Shot stickers, all you gotta do is send me a stamped and self-addressed envelope and when I get it, I can send you guys stickers back. But you gotta make sure you include the proper stamps and include your own address so I can send it back to you. If you guys don't include those two things, you won't be getting stickers. So definitely don't forget to do that. And I'm pretty sure um, you can send your own stamped envelope from wherever you are in the world. You just gotta add and include the proper um, and, or, uh, stamps for me to send them back. So that's gonna be pretty cool. I cannot wait to see what you guys send me because for the longest time I wanted to do this, I just wasn't giving out my address because that's not something I should be doing. A P.O. box is definitely a lot more professional and a much easier way to get, stu to get stuff from you guys. So moving on here, the next thing I wanna show is my gaming setup. I've showed my setup several times before. I showed this so many times, but I'm gonna show it again. I believe the last time I showed this might have been at 150K, and we're double that at 300K, and I know there's a bunch of you guys who haven't seen it yet, so this is gonna be our first time. First things first, I'm gonna go over the boring stuff, the stuff that doesn't matter as much. Behind me, here is the classic TV and the laptop that you guys see in every single video. All right, so I have this laptop connected to this TV so I can display whatever I want on this screen. I normally show the game I'm playing behind just because I, I think it gives a more professional look to the videos and it makes them cooler in my opinion. I also have some cars here just for decoration, no big dealio. To the left here, we have my Elite Shot Apparel. Here is the one design, hat on, game on. This design comes in a whole multitude of colors. Very cool. This one is the Elite Lightning. Just so you guys know, I got the apparel updated so the red is gonna pop more on here, like the red pops on this one. And over here, we have only the Elite Survive. Has this awesome Elite il <laughs> Eagle illustration, along with the word Elite above it, which comes in black, white, and gray. And this one also comes in white, black, and gray. This comes in red, blue, yellow, pink, purple, every single color, whatever your favorite is, I got it. So that is pretty cool. There's also a link to all of my Elite Shot apparel in the description below. Check them out, guys. They're really cool. I really don't talk about them too often, but they're definitely worth checking out. Below the apparel, we have some of my kicks. I really um, started buying more and more shoes this year because I'm a fan of shoes. I mean, some people think I'm crazy because I have so many, but this is nothing compared to some people. I see videos, I know some people who have rooms full of shoes. I'm not that crazy yet, but I'm sure we will get there one day. But let's check these out. Here is my small little collection of shoes. We first started off with my Adidas Originals. The first pair of Adidas Originals I ever bought were these gray ones. These are a couple years old. And then we got the red ones and then the white ones, and then the blue ones, and then I moved over to Supra footwear because they also make some pretty cool shoes, and the first pair of Supras I bought were these. 
these black ones. And then I also picked up these white ones. Sorry folks, my camera died, but here are the next pair of shoes I have. These are like my new favorite pair. I love them, and of course I had to get a hat for it too. I also got these and some DCs. I'm not gonna explain them too much, but that's just a small little collection of shoes I have here. I'm definitely starting to become starting to become a shoeaholic. Every time I see a pair of shoes online, I'm like, wow, those are so sick, I gotta get them. So this collection is gonna keep adding up like month by month. All right, moving on here. I guess we can move to the bread and butter of the setup, why not? Let's just show it off here. Here it is, folks. This is where the magic happens. Like everybody says on MTV Cribs, this is where it all, is go it all goes down, man. This is it. I got three monitors. These are Asus 23 inch monitors that have like a 50 million to one aspect color ratio, which gives them really nice color. And um, they're great. These two right here are my computer. And then the one right here is when I game on my Xbox. Having two monitors to work on my computer is so much more efficient because I can get so much more work done and it makes things a lot easier. I'm gonna take a seat here. Moving on, let's see what else we can go over. I guess the keyboard. This is a Corsair, um, come on Sean, what's the name of it? Corsair Vengeance keyboard, Corsair K70 I believe. Has that red glow to it which looks very nice. It's adjustable, you can adjust the brightness. It doesn't look as bright right now because the lights are on, but it's a nice keyboard. Here's a Corsair M60 mouse that has this little thing called a sniper button. When you press that button, it makes the mouse slower so you can actually move it more precisely whenever I'm editing or if I'm playing video games on the computer, it makes it easier. Here are some Bose speakers that my brother Patrick got for me for Christmas. I always love blasting my music as you guys heard from the start of this video. I always do that. We have some Beats Solo headsets. Headphones, whatever you want to call them. I, get, I might upgrade them because these are starting to fall apart and I might want to get a better pair of headphones for when I listen to music. To the right here, here is my GoPro. This is what I use to record my snowboard videos and I plan to record more this season, which I cannot wait for. My snowboard is in that back corner over there. What's up, Stitch? And I can't wait. I have a uh, GNU Pickle. And it's an awesome snowboard. Great for terrain, great for all mountain, everything. It's beautiful. But back over here, this is a Logitech U, um, is it, yeah, UE Mini Boom speaker. It's wireless, it's Bluetooth, and it's pretty dang awesome. This is the first wireless speaker I got, and it's great for when I want to listen to music somewhere else besides my setup. Behind here is just a cup. There's a life proof case for my iPhone that I never seem to use. Moving on, here's a little collection of sunglasses. We got some American sunglasses, some Buffalo Bill sunglasses, another pair of cheap black sunglasses, and of course, we have my oak leaves. These are like my favorite pair. I love rocking these things when it's sunny. Hey, me, I can see myself. Let's put those down. Here are some Elite Shot stickers, guys. So if you send me a pre-stamped and self-addressed envelope, I'll send you a couple of Elite Shot stickers back. This is my old logo, and I know I still haven't gave these away yet, and I definitely wanted to. I gave some away, but I still have to get rid of this big stack here. I have like probably 50 plus maybe, and I definitely plan to give these away. It says at the top, come on, focus. It's not gonna focus, is it? Well, it says, you like Call of Duty? Join the squad, and it has my YouTube channel there. But I definitely also plan to get some more Elite Shot stickers that match my new logo right here. So I plan to get this very soon. Keep your eyes peeled for that. That's going to be cool. Moving on, we have some Gamer Grip. This is some stuff, some like solution based stuff that you put on your hands, you rub them together, and they won't sweat for a couple hours. This is super handy. I've been using this for probably a couple months now. And it's great because I normally get sweaty palms when I'm gaming and I don't like sweaty hands. So this is a great, a great, a great solution to that. And um, no more sweaty palms. Next to this, we have this stuff called Control Freak Clean Freak. This stuff is used to clean your controllers. That's why all of my controllers look brand spanking new because I just clean them and it makes them look brand new again. This is great for cleaning glasses, cell phones, like I said, controllers, anything that you want to use. It comes with this included cloth. 
Next to that, we have my Gunner Optics. You guys see me wear these things in every single gaming video because what these do is they reduce eye fatigue, they reduce glare, they increase sharpness, increase contrast, and make it better when looking at screens because the human eyeball isn't designed to look at monitors and screens like this. They send out these blue, blue like lights that is rough on your eyes and these glasses add this yellow tint and add those other, other things I mentioned that make it um, more suitable to look at screens and I can definitely work and game longer with these on. Moving on, this thing is an audio switch so I can go from Xbox One audio to Xbox 360 audio. That's very handy, I just gotta turn this little knob here and it switches that. Behind it we have my Elgato game capture which is looking pretty dusty I know. I tried cleaning my setup as best as I could but dust, dust is always collecting. That allows me to record my gameplay footage and show you guys on YouTube. Over here we have this thing called an HDMI switch. This allows me to switch from the Xbox One video to Xbox 360 video with this little handy dandy controller. Um, moving on we have my Astro A40 headset. This is my favorite gaming headset of all time. I used to have Turtle Beaches, but I stepped up to these bad boys and they're great. It comes with this mix amp thing here, which actually you have to buy separately, but you can buy them as a package together. You can adjust the volume, um, this here, and it's a great, great gaming headset. I definitely recommend you guys to pick up a good gaming headset if you want to get better at gaming, allowing you to hear enemy footsteps, reloads, all those key little sounds that are normally difficult to hear and that makes it perfect. As I already showed you guys, I'll show you again. Here are my gaming controllers. This is my standard Xbox One with the Control Freak Elite on the right and the Control Freak Alpha on the left. That is my favorite Control Freak setup and it's so comfortable and allows me to be very, very accurate. To the left here is my, my scuff controller with the scuff sticks. And of course it has the back paddles which allows me to jump and to knife without having to move my thumb. We have the things called the trigger stops where you can shoot without having to push the trigger all the way down. And it has the scuff grip on here making it more grippy. A very nice controller. The only thing I wish I did was I got, I wish I got the normal standard sticks with it. The scuff sticks in my opinion definitely aren't as good as Control Freak. So if you guys plan to get a scuff controller, I would recommend getting the default sticks and just equipping your favorite Control Freaks on there because I think that's a lot better in my opinion. Um, next up we have Oh, let's go over my Logitech webcam. This is what I use to record my, my uh, webcam. It's a very, very good webcam, probably the best one on the market now. 1080p, and it works perfectly. Here is my beautiful microphone. This is a Blue Yeti. I had it for quite some time now, several years. I also picked up this pop filter along with the shock mount. The pop filter makes the P's not sound like I'm blowing into the microphone. And this thing reduces the vibration, just making the quality a bit better. And it's attached to this thing called a mic stand or mic arm, whatever you want to call it, which allows you to swivel back, back and forth. I can go up and down if I want, but I'm going to keep it where it's at because I got it at a perfect level. And this is a great thing. Um, if you want to reduce clutter and provide more space on your desk here. This is made by Rode. It's called the PSA1 mic stand, I believe, which is perfect. And check this out, guys. Of course, I got to show this off. I got some Eagle posters, some Eagle stuff. Welcome to the man cave, authorized personnel only. And another little Eagle thing over here. I believe I covered most of the stuff in my gaming setup below. We have my consoles, some little cars, another controller, got a Corvette, a Mustang. Hey, what's up, Ginger? Saying hi. Hey, kitty. Oh, she's saying hello. This is my cat, Ginger. Moving on, though, we have a little pocket knife, some stuff you really can't see. Below it is my Xbox 360 on top of my Xbox One, which is probably not recommended, but I'm risking it. Got some stack of games here. Notice how they're all Call of Duty games. And over here are some Xbox One games. Down here is my computer. Ginger really wants to get in the camera. What's up, Ginger? She, normally she's camera shy, but she wants to say hello, I guess, today. Hi, kitty. Here's my computer. I recently got some new parts. It's kind of tough to see, I know. But um, the new parts I picked up make my computer faster, better, and stronger. I upgraded from an i5 Intel processor to an i7. I got the 40s. 
4970, I believe. I don't know, I forget the exact name. My camera keeps shutting off, but I also got a new graphics card. I went from a GTX 660 Ti to the GTX 780 Ti, which makes gaming and rendering much better. Um, I, I believe I showed everything off. I guess we can give Stitch some more camera time. Say hello to Stitch. There he is again. We got my ghillie suit behind there. This is my ghillie suit sniper. Do you even see me, bro? No, you can't see me when that thing is on. Above there, we have this New York big thing that I put there. Guess where I'm from? Yes, I'm from New York. Here's my tag board where I put some important stuff and some other little goodies. And below that, we have these two awesome illustrations made by a longtime fan, Rachel. Ginger, she really wants to get in this camera. She keeps following me around. <laughs> I know, Ginger, we see you. Do not worry. But here's an eagle, and here's... Here's me in illustration form, looking very cool. Ginger, get your tail out of my face. Goodness. Those are beautiful, got them framed, looking very, very nice. But I think that's about it, guys. I pretty much showed everything off. But I guess above my TV, I can show this too. It's my Gamer GFX poster. This is the company that made my updated logo and they did a killer job and I'm very, very pleased with how it turned out. So I just had to get this to commemorate and a way of saying thank you because I really love my new logo but that is about it guys I'm sorry if this video was too long I know I, I spent so much time talking and describing each and every little thing but I normally forget to mention things in my setup I made sure not to forget anything this time around but once again guys where are my control freaks uh oh I pushed my turn to them here are the control freaks once again, as I stated off the start. All you guys gotta do is click on the link in the description taking you to the console you have, either Xbox One or PlayStation 4. And if you follow the instructions, you guys will have a chance to win a pair of these control freaks. As I said, these are my favorite sticks they have to offer and make gaming so much better, allowing you to be more accurate and more precise with every shot you take. So definitely don't miss out on that if you want to win. And of course, there's my kicks again. You gotta love those kicks, man. Woo! I did a lot of talking. Thanks, thanks, Monster, for giving me the energy to talk so much in this video, but that's about it, guys. Thank you so, so much for 300,000 subscribers. My channel is growing. The squad is getting bigger and better every single day, and I could not be here without you guys. The ones that watch my videos every single day and continue to support me each and every video, thank you, because you really mean, to, mean the world to me, and I would not be doing this otherwise, but that's about it, fellas. Check out the links below, stay connected. I got my Elite Shot Apparel, and make sure to enter for the Control Free Giveaway. I also have some other things coming out soon, some special other things planned, so stay tuned. And as I said also, my P.O. Box. I'll provide the P.O. Box in the description where you guys can send me stuff, or if you wanna get free stickers, send me a stamped envelope with your address so I can send it back and include some stickers. Woo! That's about it, guys. But as I always say, it's Elite Shot here, a.k.a. Sean, your friendly COD fanboy. I'm signing out. Peace. Say bye, Ginger. Say bye. Oh, you're so cute. All right, see you guys.